Welcome to the Ministry of Biscuits and the Biscuiteers HQ. Here is where we bake and hand ice all of our beautiful biscuits, all 2.5 million of them every year, before we package them in our gorgeous tins and send them off all around the world. My name is Becky. I've been with the Biscuiteers for many years and over that time I have iced some beautiful, colourful biscuits and I'm excited to share with you some of my tips and tricks. For this session, we'll be creating some amazing biscuits with the hand-iced Valentine's Day collection using the brand new Date Night DIY kit. So first, let's take a look inside this beautiful tin. You will have everything you need to ice your own biscuits at home, and that includes some instructions. You've got your piping bags, some beautiful decorations to embellish your biscuits. You've got some coloured paste, so you can make a mix of colours. Your icing mix, and then of course, some of our delicious chocolate biscuits. And now you're all set to make your perfect biscuits at home, perfect for a date night or a bit of fun with the kids. Before we start icing, we're going to prepare our workstation so that we're nice and organised and ready for some biscuiteering. So I'd recommend you pop down a sheet of parchment paper first. Then you're going to need a couple of bowls to pop your sprinkles and your decorations in. We'll use these to embellish our biscuits with the icing. Just stops them rolling all over the place and onto the floor. You get three different designs in your beautiful date night kit. You're also going to need a bowl and spoon and just a little bit of water for when we mix up our icing. And everything you need for your icing is in here. We've then got your paste colour and you're just going to need a little toothpick. And you need a really small amount of this because the paste colour is really intense. And then on the parchment paper you can place your biscuits ready to be iced. And then you'll also need your piping bags close to hand for when you've mixed up your icing. When you're ready to make your icing, you can empty the contents into your bowl. And I'm going to use all of this icing mix here. And first we're going to use it to make our line icing. And then to that mixture, you're going to add three tablespoons of water. And then you're just going to gently mix this up and that's going to create your line icing. If you've got an electric or a hand whisk at home, you're, you can definitely use that as well. Just be careful that you don't leave it while it's mixing because you can over mix it and then you'll never get the thickness of the consistency that you really need. And this is why you've put your parchment paper down, you're always going to make a little bit of mess, but at least it's tasty mess. So you can see how this is all mixed in, it's nice and smooth and it's really thick. So it's falling off that spoon, but really slowly. And that's what you need for your line icing. And this is going to act as your barrier when you're drawing on your designs. And then that will hold in your flood icing. Before I add any colour to this line icing, I'm going to take a scoop and pop it in one of my piping bags. Then I've got some nice white icing to use uh, for detail and for the designs on the biscuits. So take your bag, pop it in a glass or a jar, and then you can just hold the icing bag with one hand. Take a nice big spoonful of your line icing and just place it right inside that bag. You can then push it off without getting messy fingers. 
don't want to overfill your bag as you want to be able to get a nice good grip on it. Just push that icing down. And then when you've got some of the air out, you can tie a knot in the top of the bag. Make sure it's nice and tight so the icing doesn't pop out the top of the bag. And then you've got your first bag of line and icing ready to decorate your biscuits. I'm now going to separate the line icing that I have in half so that we can mix up two different colours using the paste that comes within your kit. So when you've got your icing, your line icing, you can take your paste colour and you're just going to need a really tiny amount as the paste colour is really intense. I'd recommend just using a little toothpick and you can take a small amount out and pop it into your icing. And then mix that together. And you'll see how quickly it gives us a really strong, rich pink colour. Make sure you've got that all mixed in nice and evenly. And then you can pop that one to one side. We'll make our second colour. This time I'm going to add just a really small amount and we'll get a nice pale pink hopefully. And of course you can always go back and add a bit more colour if you want a richer, deeper pink. Keep mixing until all that colour is evenly mixed in. And you'll see how just a little bit of that paste goes a really long way. And you've now got two beautiful shades to decorate your biscuits with. So we're now going to use the line icing and we're going to create two bags of line icing. So the same as the white one, just take your icing bag, pop it into your jar. And the jar just keeps it stable, it means that you've got both hands to pop the icing inside. So from this first bowl, I'm going to take a nice big spoonful, but you can see I've left a little bit in there and we'll use that to make our flat icing. So pop in your line icing. Just push it down, work its way. And if you can see there's a little bit of paste that's not mixed in, it'll all blend in once it's in the bag and you're working with it. Push it down. Twist the top and pop a knot in so it's nice and secure. So we'll do the same now with our pale pink icing. Take a nice spoonful, pop it in the bag.
give it a little shake and just work it down to the end. Little twist, tie it at the top. So now you've got your three bags of line icing. We'll use these to draw the designs onto our biscuits, do the outlines, and then we can also use them to embellish the biscuits. Once we've done the flooded designs, we can pop some detail on top. You can now take the remaining line icing that you have. We're gonna add just a splash more water, just a really small bit at a time, and that can turn it into your flood icing. We'll use that flood icing to fill the beautiful biscuits and it gives it that beautiful, smooth, glossy finish that we're looking for. So you just want a nice little teaspoon and a really small amount of water at a time because you haven't got much icing in there now. So just keep adding a bit of water, mixing it in until you get the right consistency and you're looking for some icing that will drizzle off your spoon this time. So keep mixing it all together, nice and smooth. You can see how glossy that is. And if you lift it up and pour it, it's really, if you lift it up and pour it, it's drizzling off really easily and it's nice and glossy. So when you've got the right consistency for your flood icing, we're gonna do exactly the same and we're gonna pop it into our piping bags. So grab your jar and one of your piping bags, pop it inside. And once again, you can just spoon it into the bag. Again, give the bag a little twist at the top and pop a little knot in. And there's the first of our flood icing. So we'll do the same again with the second colour. This is the remaining line icing that we had and I'm just going to add a little dash of water until we get the right consistency for our flood icing. Just keep mixing until it's really nice and smooth and glossy and you've got that consistency where it will drizzle off your spoon. When you're ready, again, take your jar and one of your icing bags and we'll just pop it inside. Just spoon it into the bag. And now we're all set to get biscuiteering. We've got all of our icing, all of our sprinkles, and we can bring in those gorgeous chocolate biscuits.
Now that you have all of your icing and of all of your sprinkles ready, we can start creating our beautiful biscuits. You've got 14 of these delicious chocolate biscuits in your DIY date night tin, so you can do a couple of different designs or you can do a repeat of your favourite design. We would always start by using our line icing and to prepare your bag, you're going to need to snip off the very tip of your bag. Just going to use a little pair of scissors and just snip off the very top. You want to make sure that cut goes straight across and gives you a nice little opening. By using the scissors to snip your bag, you've got total control of the size of this hole. We never use any metal tips or piping nozzles. They can just get clogged up and using a pair of scissors is much simpler. I would recommend holding your piping bag with your thumb and your forefinger to give you a nice even pressure and to hold that icing so that it flows down through your bag and onto your biscuit. You just want to gently open the end of your bag so that icing can come out and through the end nice and smoothly. I'd really recommend practicing a little bit on your paper before you go straight onto your biscuit so that you can get used to holding the bag, the consistency of that icing and how quickly it's going to flow. Make contact with the paper by touching down and applying pressure. Just lift your bag slightly, keep squeezing and let your icing fall out. When you want to end, touch down again and then move your bag away. When you're ready to start icing, take your bag and just make sure it's nice and clean at the end by gently giving it a squeeze. You can then make contact with your biscuit, gently squeeze, lift up and allow the icing to flow onto your biscuit. You can see I'm allowing that icing to fall quite close to the edge of the biscuit so we'll get a nice full design of flood icing and I'm going to go around the other side. Just take your time and let that icing fall onto your biscuit and this acts as your barrier and will hold your flood icing and touch down when you're finished. Now that I'm re ready to add the flood icing, I'm going to do exactly the same and snip the end of our piping bag. This time I'm going to make the hole just slightly bigger. And you can see I've got a nice wide opening that will allow our flood icing to flow onto our biscuit. Gently squeeze the icing down and I'd recommend starting out near the edge of your biscuit. Just gently squeeze and then move your way in and we're going to fill all of our biscuit to give it a nice smooth glossy finish. At this point I'm not going to squeeze any more, I'm just going to use the end to push that flood icing right up to the edges to fill in any gaps so you can't see the biscuit underneath. If you can see any bubbles, you might want to go in with a toothpick and you can just pop them because as this icing dries, those bubbles will rise to the surface. So it's a nice little trick just to pop them now and that will leave you with a beautiful smooth finish when they're dried. So whilst your flood icing is still nice and wet, you can go add in some of your decorations and they'll just gently sink into the flood icing and be nice and secure whilst it dries. So first of all, I'm gonna grab some of these beautiful little hearts and just place them around the edges. Just pop them in and they will sink into your flood icing. Don't be too precious. These are all handmade, unique biscuits and it's these little de details that make them really gorgeous. Next, I'm going to take these gorgeous little pearls and just sprinkle a few on. And then when you've finished, you can pop your biscuit to one side to dry or pop it in your oven on the lowest temperature. So for the second design, I'm going to take a different colour of icing this time. And this is our line icing again, so just snip off the end of your bag. You want to make sure that hole is quite small. So you can just see I've gone straight across. Can you see? And it's just a nice small hole 
that will allow me to draw the outline onto our biscuit. Grip the bag again with your thumb and forefinger, gently squeeze the icing down and when you're ready to start your design, just make sure the end of the bag is nice and open. This time I'm going to come a little way in from the edge of our biscuit and start our design. Touch down, apply pressure and just let that icing fall onto the biscuit. This time I'm using the biscuit to create a frame around the design and then we can add some details onto this after we've added our flood icing. Again I'm going to use a matching colour for our flood icing that we've already mixed. I've just snipped off the end of the bag, gently squeeze and use this to fill your biscuit. You'll need to be quite quick with this one as the icing is obviously going to flow out much quicker. So just push that all around until you can't see the biscuit anymore. Again, if you've got any bubbles that you can see, just go in there and give it, pop those. Again, we can go back and add some embellishment. This time I'm going to go with these gorgeous little tiny sprinkles, sprinkle them over and that flood icing will just help them stick to your design. I'm going to add some of these silver hearts. Now we can add some more detail going around the outside of our biscuit. This time I'm going to go back and use my line icing and I'm going to use the contrasting colour. And I'm going to use this just to create some nice little dots going all the way around our design. So I'm squeezing, holding the icing in the middle to create some nice little beading that will just follow all the way around our heart. I'd recommend that you don't move your biscuit as you're icing it in case you might touch the icing or it starts to run. You want to make sure your biscuit is flat at all times and instead just move your hand around each biscuit. Just work your way all the way around you come to the end and then I'm going to take my white icing and again this is the line icing to create all of the detail And do some nice little loops to create a lace effect going around the edge of our heart. Just keep looping it around those beads. And if you need to change the position of your hand, you can always stop as you go, find what's comfortable and carry on. You also might need to change where your hand is in the bag to make sure you've got a nice even pressure all the time. And then we have our second heart, our second design from the collection. 
So this time I'm going to take the white line icing and use it to create the outline of this heart biscuit. So just gently squeeze and allow the icing to fall and flow onto your biscuit. Touch down when you come to a corner and you want to change direction. All the way around and then touch down at the end. Next I'm going to use a contrasting flood icing, so I'm going to use our pale pink flood icing. I'm just going to fill this in quickly and this time I want to make sure that I don't overfill it at all because I'm going to go back in and add a second colour. So just gently sweeping backwards and forwards. And then now I'm just going to gently push all the icing right up to the edges. And again, while this flood icing is still wet, I'm going to go in with my second colour, so the slightly darker pink. And I'm just going to drop in some little spots of that contrasting pink to add a nice little detail. So here are just three of the designs that you can create with your beautiful DIY date night tin and there are more designs shown in the booklet inside each tin. Have fun! Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe or pop over to Instagram and give us a follow there. You can purchase this DIY date night kit on our website as well as many others. Thank you so much and happy biscuiteering.